Well, the memorial service outside the sheriff's office lasted about an hour, but it honored law enforcement officers who paid the ultimate sacrifice dating back to 1907. It was a solemn ceremony with the formal presentation of colors, salutes, and the firing of volleys honoring law enforcement officers who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Dixie Lowry Davis was in the crowd. Her husband, State Trooper Ed Lowry, was shot to death on Interstate 95 in 1997 by the Golfin brothers who had just robbed the jewelry store in Lumberton. Cumberland County Sheriff's Deputy David Hathcock also died in that incident. Uh, it's kind of bittersweet, uh, you know, after 26 years. Uh, you still remember, sometimes it seems like it was yesterday and sometimes it seems like it was a long time ago. But uh, I'm glad they, they remember the officers and that's what it's all about. 19-year-old Kaylee Lefford never got to meet her grandpapa Ed. It's just really special. Um, his sacrifice is what needs to be honored and it is, it is so great that they do this every year. Deputy Sheriff Christopher B. Matthews. This memorial honors the fallen officers and the families who also make sacrifices. From the officer who's working the beat tonight who's probably going to miss uh, the cutting of a birthday cake to the officers that work Christmas Day and miss the opening of the presents. This is a calling, uh, especially this time of day for us law enforcement, because everybody can't do this job, everybody don't want to do this job, but we have to have law enforcement. So David Hathcock and Ed Lowry's names are on this memorial wall along with 34 others. This is our community's way of remembering the sacrifices they made. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WREL News.